cancer cells removed. The inspiration for Elysium was really a film to try to turn the metaphor of the haves and have-nots into an environment that the extrapolation of extreme wealth and extreme poverty was visually represented for the audience, and you could go to those two places and exist in them. Earth, 150 years in the future, has become a third world planet. There's a scarcity of resources, it's overcrowded. You get the feeling that the borders have just become completely porous. Everybody's hustling in some way to just get by. The rest of us are on Earth looking up at this beautiful, pristine Taurus in the sky that we aspire to somehow get to. Elysium is a space station that hovers above Earth that is filled with all of the things that make life worth living. Everything that's been extracted from Earth, all of the medical help and the technology and the wealth and the standard of living and the longevity and everything else is all there. If they have enough money and you're somebody, you can get a pass to come to this place, have your skin branded and become an Elysian citizen. The earth that Secretary Tadakuro came from, that she remembers, was falling apart and was horrible, and it was a terrible place to be. And they've created this new habitat, Elysium, to get rid of some of the bad things that happened then. The terrible pollution, uh, toxicity of the planet, overpopulation, all those things that we all know right now are a problem. And now all her concern is, is to protect uh, the new utopian habitat that they've come up with. They all want to be a citizen of Elysium. Three undocumented ships are approaching Elysium airspace. Shoot them down. 